Mayor Eric Adams detests unvaccinated city workers. Well, why would I say this? Well, simple, because he doesn't honor court decisions. Recent case and example, uh, there was a court ruling that came out in favor of 16 unvaccinated uh, sanitation workers who won the right to have their jobs back along with back pay. They had argued that there was no grounds for the city to dismiss them simply because they were unvaccinated and there was no logic to the whole thing. And the court sided with them. Given all the facts, evidence, everything we know now, the court said, yes, this made no sense. And effectively, immediately, these folks were to be reinstated with back pay. So how did the city respond? Well, easy, double middle barrel finger. They said, no, nah, we're not bringing you back. In fact, we're going to challenge this decision. So that would beg the question to be asked, why is the city of New York going to challenge this? Why would they not simply go along with science, which they claim to worship at? Well, simple folks, this was never about science. This whole two plus years has always been about power. It's about who can yield power over someone else and make them do jump through the hoops, do everything that they want them to do. And when these folks lose power, they simply say, well, the game's rigged, it's not fair, we're gonna ignore it, and we're just gonna move on. When things go in their favor, not even in their favor, when they're passing mandates, laws, and all sorts of things, and this meager citizens question it and say, hey, this doesn't make any sense, they say, hey, this is the law, this is what you gotta follow. We know that, this is the hypocrisy of these people. These are little people, they're tyrants. I, I watch some of them on television, or I listen to them in interviews, these are people who were losers in life, okay? Finally, they have a little modicum of power, and what do they do? They become tyrannical because they feel that because they've been wrongly done by or oppressed in some way, shape, or form, never had the, uh, were able to fit in with the in crowd or whatever it is that they were seeking, this is their chance to be tyrannical and powerful over other people. Don't believe me? Well, watch a recent Project Veritas video which caught one of uh, Eric Adams' aides undercover. The disdain this man had for the unvaccinated is amazing. What he had to say about the mayor is simply uh, amazing. Now, for those of you who don't know, Eric Adams is a black mayor. That's right, New York's run by a black mayor. There's a lot of African-American, a lot of different race, uh, racial groups that are in the halls of power in New York. So don't give me that BS about systemic racism there. This is a black mayor who's being oppressive and actually used to be in the police department. And one of the groups that they're heavily trying to push out are unvaccinated cops. And you would think given all the crime that's happening in New York, maybe, maybe it would make sense to have a few more cops around, but not for these people. Because at the end of the day, Power means more than principle. These are not principle-driven people. They are driven by power, and they thirst for it. Lord Acton said a long time ago that power corrupts, and absolute power corrupts absolutely. No truer words were spoken than the progressive idiots that are running the world in a lot of the parts these days. Now, you can take countries where the politicians don't seem to be fearful and have some common sense, Right away off the top of my head, Sweden comes to mind. When all of this madness started a couple plus years ago, Sweden was the only country that took a different approach. And lo and behold, you rarely hear about Sweden today, folks. Why? Because they're a success story. People didn't die in droves in the streets and everything else. They did not employ a heavy-handed tactic because they realized that they had the privilege of governing people, not ruling people. So I am hoping, certainly, that come next Tuesday, when they have the midterms in the U.S., these SOBs, and I say it, are thrown right out of office. These progressive morons who have basically turned things upside down. Folks who will tell you that there's 4,000 genders and 14 million ways to be oppressed, I am hoping they will see the door and the exit clearly, and somebody will put their foot in their ass and throw them right the hell out of here. Anyway. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Please post any comments you have in the comment section. You can also follow me on my Rumble and my Locals account. If you're a new subscriber, uh, please check out the previous videos. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe today. I'll see you next time.